Imagine you bought a field and you decide to put fence on this field. In fact, you decide to put fence along the entire property line. Now, the property line of this field is a rectangle. Enclosing the field required 800 feet of fence. Let's express the area of the field as a function of one of its dimensions. The formula for the area of a square or rectangle is length times width. And we want a function whose output is the area of the field when given a value for x, a dimension of one side. It might help to first consider this. The perimeter of 800 feet comes from length plus length plus width plus width. But the area formula is not length times length times width times width. To help us visualize what information we need to build our function, we can cut the field in half diagonally. The area formula only requires the values from two perpendicular sides of the rectangle. Our function only needs to consider half of the perimeter. If one side is labeled with the variable x, then the other side must be 400 minus x, half of the total amount of fence minus whatever is used for x. Now we can express the area of the field as a function of one of its dimensions. Area equals length times width. Two things to keep in mind. It doesn't matter which side you label with the variable x, the width or the length. The function only requires you to know the dimension of one side. Also, this function is designed only to produce the area of a rectangle with a perimeter of 800 feet. You can think of a function as a machine. The x value is the input. Place that input into the machine, our function, and it produces the area of the field. If you were to graph this function using several values for x, you would notice the graph is a parabola. And when you start studying calculus, you will work on optimization problems which will tell you which value of x yields the largest area. Pour payer ma jaguar, j'ai besoin de notre union qu'à la règle d'or, c'est la flexibilité go, go.